So I finally got my Ayla and control system hooked up. Just dummied up at the moment. You can see it's all connected down there. Goes up to this bell crank, then to this one, up into the roof, to that one, and then out to the aileron, which is out there. So as like I did with the um, elevator control, I built that bracket there long time before I um, had it all complete all together so I'd, I didn't really understand how much load was going through there. So now I've got it hooked up you can see how much flex there is in that one bracket there which is no good. So we've got to come up with a better system there just to stiffen that up a bit just like the elevators. Watch this space. There we go. Roll it as a sock. Ended up a couple of little brackets there. Had to make a little bit of a whoop there and, and a little bit of a whoop there just for the clearance there. And that's taken the giggle out of it, that's for sure. I'm going to do the same with this follower up here. But that's going to be slightly different there because there's going to be another idler, uh, another push rod going against that too, so it might take that out a bit. But yeah, same treatment. Progress. Now I've got to clean this place up. Look at that dirty yuck. Out on the wing where the bell crank and push rod is for the aileron. You can sort of see I've painted myself into a bit of a corner. Had to get clearance for the push rod here. And then a straight push rod wouldn't clear in this area. So I made my own. You can see that'll be full up there. Neutral and down there. I reckon that'll work. Might make an extra doubler there or something, but happy with that. And remember when I was hoping last video about um, this curve that I made in the flap, and I was hoping that it would match the center section. Well, good guesswork. We can work with that. So I've got one wing attached and set up for one degree dihedral at the moment. Seems to work nice at that angle there. I didn't want to make it flat. I wanted a little bit of dihedral. It just makes it look a bit better. I couldn't make it too, too high though because this torque tube here has already got alignment problems. I, I bug it up and got this out of whack a little bit. Slight miscalculation but as it is there, I reckon I can recover from that. This is where the flap actuator mechanism will go. I've got to come up with that design yet. And this area here will be fuel tanks. Now that the, the push rods in for the ailerons, I can sort of nut out how that's all going to work in there. And a few other little things here and there while, we, while we're at it. And of course, once I'm happy with this side, I can match it all to the other wing, which I don't really have any room left, so got some numbers to nut out there. So, fun. One day I'll get that wing back down and we'll finish that one off.